hello so in this video let's create door legend and let's look how such objects look in in project examples so in this example you can see a table format some sketch of the window or doors uh, the basic dimensions uh, marking and quantity, some additional parameters, and some comments about these objects, maybe colors, maybe materials, and other stuff. So let's try to do a similar legend in our project. So let's go to view section, let's select legends, and in this case, let's use, okay, scale 1 to 50, legend doors. And for this purpose, I will use annotate and I will use com components. And from here, I need to select uh, doors. But in my project, I have a lot of door types created, but I'm using just a couple of them. So I will first purge my project. So I just use and get only the doors I need. So let's go to doors and let's let's purge them. Okay. And let's try one more time. Let's go to components and let's select doors, doors, doors. One, two, three, four doors. Yeah, nice. And let's uh, look to the front of the doors and let's put one by one. So from here I see one, two, three, four doors in my project. I see only three doors, so I'm not using these doors. So I can delete them and I can just move other doors here. Let's align them. Now, now let's put basic uh, dimensions. So in more complex doors you have a lot of lines, so you need to decide which are the main components for uh, or main lines for your doors. I'm using core settings if the doors are created correctly, so some detailed objects should not be visible in cores. In medium I should see some additional objects and in fine I should see all the detail objects. But in, in this case I just see full version of the doors. Okay, let's put just dimensions, basic ones. In the simple doors, uh, I just have this uh, invisible lines here, so it would be great if you just use a line tool and just put a simple thin line and it looks much better in this case. Next, in this legend I can use uh, drawing tools and I can draw a table which will represent all the parts for my information. Some special add-ins uh, can help you with this and it will automatically create such legends and uh, but some of them are not for free so you need to choose which technique gives you best performance saves time saves money okay so here now i can put some text so 2.5 here so it will be my door, door sketch, door, 
uh, this will be my mark type mark so in this case you can see I put a lot of uh, information using using uh, uh, typing and other techniques so it's not uh, very good technique because uh, this information will not update automatically only the door shape uh, will uh, update automatically and all this text which I put by hand will not update automatically so using this uh, legend technique to create doors uh, in some cases it is not recommended and so it it would be better to use maybe uh, shadows for such purpose okay type mark let's try to make this one just for this example and we will try to do similar stuff with shadows okay okay let's check type mark type mark type mark D03 this one D01 and this one D02 next parts I want to calculate how much are the quantities of this so I want to count and in this case also I am doing it by hand so it could give you bad results and so you should check this information double check uh, or you should open uh, door shadow and you should put this information from your door shadow okay so other parameters I can put here so maybe some model if I have exact model of manufacturer I can put model number here so in, in my example I don't have such model so I will type just dash okay for these doors it looks like I have some model so I can just uh, go to the project select the doors and look for the model and the model is specified here it's locked so I cannot uh, just uh, copy paste it so I need to rewrite it by hand so I can I see the same model name is in the type name so I can just go here and use this one and type here So this is the model of my doors. Other doors don't have models, so I just will put the dash here. Next parameters uh, I can put maybe. some information in here comments to 
describe my doors. Uh, what are the door types? What direction they open, and, and so on. And in here, I can put, let's say, description. Mm. Or other information. So this is uh, technique one: how to create such legend for the uh, doors. Also, I think it would be great if you just take snapshot of this uh, uh, picture. Let's use snapping tool. Let's be more informative and. Uh, now I will put additional parameter in the shadow. Let's go here and let's put a type image. Type image. Or just image. And let's press OK. And for the type image I should select the doors from here and press edit type and let's go to the type image section so from here I see this type image section is locked so I need to go to the family editor edit the family and, and do more steps to, to um, change this settings so for this example I just will use a simple image I press add image I select the doors I press open and OK and from here you can see my door image is presented nicely in here I can hide this type image and I have this nice looking picture if I want the bigger one so I just can make this field bigger and uh, practically I have the same result like in here but I don't need to fill information by head by hand just to insert this picture and uh, all the descriptive information can change during my project so it is I think better solution for door legend or door shadowing to use this technique not using this technique.